but I want to talk with you. Uh, it's related to, you know, IP. So um, we are, you know, analyzing the loss of exclusivity. The original assumption was until, you know, 2030, but seems like we are, you know, uh, getting some pressure that we have to shorten the loss of exclusivity. So it has such a such a large impact on our vari you know, variation. So we'd like to understand more on the procedure. So uh, we are thinking, you know, to some extent around the year of like 2017 or 18, uh, we have to allow genetics to come into the market. So we have a like, lawsuit to negotiate with them and we come to a like, settlement something after like three years of law lawsuits or something like that. So that's uh, our case. So in the case of, uh, you know, uh, genetics entering to this market on this product, you know, simply that if it is a suspension yeah. in the US. So, um, you know, our legal team, IP, you know, specialist told us that definitely genetics have to conduct clinical studies before applying for the genetic. So, um, you know, my initial thought on that is that that may not. All right. I had to cut the video because my phone's battery went dead, but there were two mid DPUs, 8070, um, 80, 8078 and 8091 were the engine. Um, well, actually, 7098 and 8098 were on, this, on the DPUs, but the train stopped. So, and right down there, I think the UP 1998. Two is going to be down here in a little bit. It's going to be on main one, I think. Well, I think it is because I, I see some lights. I'm not sure if, it, if it's another train or not. Something tells me it could be. I'm using my um, I'm using mom's um, iPhone X because my phone died halfway. The train, I got the train moving, but the train stopped, and my phone's battery died right before that. As you can see, there's a CSX intermodel train right out. There's a CSX. There's a intermodel train owned by the UP. I think 2638 was leading, so that's a tier four ES44 AC. Oh, is it? Is that a train right there? Or no? I don't see anything. Yep, that's right. I'm standing outside the car right now. The train should be somewhere down there. Oh. wonder where that come, came from. If there's a yellow little glazed mark right there, if there's a yellow bright light there, then there may be a train on track one. But I don't know. There could be a train. All I know right now is UP1982 is leading and a GP60 is on the back. 1047 is the engine, which if you don't know very much about, and I probably won't, but it's one of those local engines and it used to run on the channel line, which was replaced with 1013 again. But now I'm just waiting, waiting in vain for this train to get here. I'm seeing bright lights, but at the same time, I do not see anyone, any new ones, but I bet it... Oh, I think I hear something. I think it's a train horn. You'll find it. We'll find out what it is. We'll find out. We'll find out. Is it moving again? Is the train moving? I don't know. 
know yet because it's not moving. But I think I hear something down there, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it is right there. Oh, that may just be one of those billboards. But we're stuck here, and UP 1982 is probably going to show up in any minute now. Well, it should be starting. It should start moving in just a few minutes. Because last, it's last, it was last reported at Pikachu Way, right, right outside of Pikachu, Arizona. So it might be, thir- it may be a little while until this boy comes in. It's not going to honk its horn here because it's a no horn zone. I've been sitting here for about four minutes and 16 seconds, waiting in vain for a good boy train to come around. I think I'll go over the other side. There we go. That's a better. That's better. But I'm not going to go too close because I don't want to trespass. And that's just not good. I should have brought a jacket. It's cold out here, but I think I could manage. 